Once again, guys, this is the Investor Channel as always. This is your host. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe. I didn't even say what my name was. This is your host, Prince Dykes. <laughs> don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, and share button, all the other great stuff. As always, don't forget to uh, drop some comments below. If you guys got any questions or comments, anything like that, give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, give me a thumbs down. It sucks. But thank you guys for the tremendous support. Um, you guys can email me again at... Uh, don't uh, at ask Prince A S K P R I N C E at royalfinancials.com if you got any questions. But as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to jump straight into it. So, this video is about DRIP Dividend Reinvestment Program. That's the acronym D R I P Dividend Reinvestment Plan or Program or whatever. Some people call it different or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to set that up with TD Ameritrade. If you don't know what the heck that means, stick around the end of the video. I kind of touch on it a little bit, but I want to jump straight into how you can set it up here with uh, TD Ameritrade. So you go here to my account. You go down here to, you guessed it, Dividend Reinvestment. You click on Dividend Reinvestment. And when this comes up, it's going to ask you here, you know, it's like this is the stock and ETF dividends. And if you get paid stocks and ETFs and dividends, if you got ETFs that pay you dividends, uh, you know, you can go to it or whatnot. If you got mutual funds, you click on mutual funds to get dividends because they pay dividends as well. But since I don't have it, I don't have any in this, uh, I don't have any portfolio in this account. This is just an account to tell you guys how this roll. But what you do is you're going to hit right here, edit enrollments, right? And then once you get to edit enrollments, and you're going to click this box right here. Boom. It says automatically enroll me in all current and future eligible stock and ETFs and dividends, right? Then you're going to hit that save button. Then when you hit the save button, boom, all of your eligible stocks and ETFs are now enrolled into DRIP and eligible for future ones will be automatically enrolled too. That's the thing I like about TD Ameritrade. It automatically enrolls. So if you go buy a four stock today, it's automatically going to pay you a dividend. So you might be saying, Prince, how do I know if I'm getting paid a dividend? Speaking of four, let's type in four, which is the stock symbol for that is uh, F, right? So as uh, four comes up, you're going to scroll down here. And it says it pays an annual dividend of sixty cent per share. So one share costs twelve dollars, and it pays an annual dividend of uh sixty cent, and that's the four uh, point uh, four point seven nine percent dividend. And if you don't sign up for this, what it does is every quarter, or annually or semi-annually, most companies pay quarterly. It's just going to send a dividend deposit to your account, right? So, but you know, depending on how big your dividends are, you have to pay dividend. You have to pay taxes on those at the end of the year. But uh, what you can do is you can have those currently reinvested, reinvested to buy you more and more and more and more shares. So that's a great way to uh, build more and more shares over time. So if you have a stock or ETF, we're going to look at an ETF for example called VU. If you was just here just to see how to enroll into a dividend, you can end the video. If not, but if you're sticking around for this stuff, this is an ETF that tracks the Dow Jones, not the Dow Jones, but the S&P 500 by Vanguard. And right here, it pays a district annual dividend of 1.90, as you guys can see here. It pays $4 annually for every 217 shares you have. So that's 1.90. So... <clears throat> That's the ETF. So if I was to purchase this today and go buy it, since I'm automatically enrolled into the dividend reinvestment program every year or whatnot, it's just going to buy me more and more shares. So what it's going to do is instead of that $4 coming to my account, that $4 is going to buy me a little small fraction of another share of this, right? Reinvesting. So this is how you can buy 10 shares today and never touch it and probably end up with 12 or 13 shares, 5, 6, 10 years down the line. All right. So anyway, I hope that helped you guys. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. To the next video, um, peace, be safe, and I'm out. Thank you.